Hey YouTube, this is a video of my Kindle Fire first generation. Hard to see. This is a Kindle. I have it in my M Edge case right now. Love these cases, by the way. All right, so uh, this is not your typical Kindle Fire. Uh, I have installed Jelly Bean on this device. And to prove it, I'm going to just show you. There's a Jelly Bean menu. Obviously, this is the uh, Android 4 menu system. I have the AOKP edition, which uh, does give you some uh, options that you wouldn't normally have. Uh, here you go. I have, I, I can set the. Uh, the, the CPU settings, the, the minimum, the maximum speed. Oh, it goes up to 1200. I think that's what the, the Kindle Fire is clocked at, anyways. But I want to show you how to install Jelly Bean very quickly, and I'll post a link. Uh, this way, I mean, if you're using a Kindle Fire and you still have the Amazon forked version of Android, uh, I suggest giving this a shot. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the system. And, uh, it doesn't boot up like a typical Kindle Fire. You're not going to see the, uh, the the Kindle logo. Thank God. Uh, you can set your own wallpapers and they stick because it's it, the, the tablet thinks it's a jelly bean. It, it, it basically thinks it's a, uh, a Nexus tablet at this point or any other Android 4.0 device. So I'm going to try to boot into recovery, and this always comes up when I reboot this tablet. Since there's only one single button on the uh, Kindle, it lets you access this by just pressing the power button. This is the Team Win Recovery app, and um, I have options here. I could you can restore using a package, you can uh, uh, install right now I have no package to go back to because I was just so happy with uh, with getting rid of the Amazon system you can just back it up uh, by going to backup and then swipe it back up down there and it'll back up your operating system and it will allow you to uh, uh, install a, a different ROM but uh, but yeah it's, it's basically as simple as that it's uh, you just gotta install the image to your SD card once you have TWRP installed which you can find how to videos all over the internet and uh, for instance, I'm on the XDA developers website right here. Stock Jelly Bean for Kindle Fire. This seems to be the uh, the the newest edition, but that's AOSP edition. And then just like I just say, you type in Kindle Fire TWRP install comes up automatically at the top. You just click on that. Look at that, right there. Download the file. You got an ADB shell. You got to have, uh, you got to have um, super user to do this. But I'll make sure I uh, post a link that'll guide you through this whole step. And there you go. You got uh, Jelly Bean on your uh, Kindle Fire. There, there are a few things that, that, that are drawbacks to this this edition. I need to update it to get the newest one. Right now, uh, with this music widget, it never goes to absolute zero sound. Because if you mute, mute this device, let me see if I can get it to, yep, there it goes. Look at that. Okay, so let me press OK. Oh, comes right back. Comes right back. So you just gotta be quick about it. Get your audio back on there. 
there is no microphone on the Kindle Fire, nor uh, has there been any kind of Bluetooth support. There might be a chip that accepts Bluetooth inside this device. Maybe not. I've never got a clear answer on that. Also, no camera on this device. So, um, so yeah, you can't, obviously, you're not going to take pictures. Anything that requires a microphone is typically just going to crash at this point. But, uh, it is fully functioning. Let me, uh, I mean, there's sound and everything. It runs good. The games run good. Let me turn my Wi-Fi back on. In the meantime, while that's going, I'll show you how, let's, let's, let's see how Vector runs on a, uh, Kindle Fire with Jelly Bean. Like I said this this uh, has full hardware uh, acceleration, sound. If it looks jittery, it's my camera more than anything. I'm recording this on an AT, AT&T Avail, which is a ZTE phone. It sports a 5 megapixel camera, but even uh, on the warp, the uh, the frame rate, I believe, is a maximum of 15 frames a second. But it, it runs good. On the uh, Kindle Fire, there's, there's no slowdown or nothing. It's smooth as silk. Angry Birds, this is a always a good benchmark. I don't have them installed right now, but Vice City and Max Payne run very well on this tablet. No problem. Very fast. No problem at all with this tablet uh, running Jelly Bean. I would never go back to using the, uh, the Amazon operating system. So if you have a first generation Kindle Fire, upgrade it.